Who's ready to hear about the next trendy gold rush on social media? Over the past decade, there's been numerous movements online where people make money and then teach others how to do it. The gold rush is obviously in teaching the secrets. Here's a few. How to make money online blogging, how to make money online selling eBooks, becoming a social media influencer, how to make money selling products on Shopify, drop shipping, running Facebook ads to a guru course on ClickFunnels, and Amazon FBA. But today, we're talking about the next way that you can become 100,000 air in the next couple months with Amazon Automation. Hey, if you have more than $10,000 in the bank and you have not heard about Amazon Automation, I guarantee you, you are losing money. A lot of people are investing in so many different avenue streams like stock market, real estate, getting between 5 to 7%. And the only reason they haven't invested in Amazon Automation is because they haven't heard about it. Thanks to all of the fake gurus who are seeing the bright lights of this gold rush, we're now being bombarded by ads about Amazon Automation. These gurus are like sharks in the water and the naive customers are the bait. If you have more than $10,000 in the bank and you don't know this, I guarantee you that you're losing money. Real estate, the stock market, earning five to 7% in annual returns, it's dead. And people who are investing into real estate and the stock market are only doing it for one reason, because they don't know a better way to get better returns on their money. But there is something so much better and it's called Amazon automation. I am so excited. I've been investing in real estate the past three years thinking it was the best way to make money, but it sounds like a new way to become rich has become available. It's been three years since Kevin has been able to create an original YouTube video, so maybe his original thoughts are going towards his Amazon automation business. I decided to sign up because I want to learn how the elite invest their money. Okay, I can't take myself seriously. Who seriously believes that the elite invest in Amazon automation? point is these products exist the trick is finding them but luckily we aren't typical Amazon sellers and if you stick around until the end of this short training we will reveal our exact blueprint to finding home run products like these on Amazon Kevin is such a nice guy he's going to find home run products all for me to make huge profits he just spent the previous minute showing me that his products make about 150 grand a month with 25% profit margins. The signup fee is only 40 grand and I can immediately start making 40 grand a month with these home run products. That's a no brainer. Please take my money, Kevin. This is an opportunity I do not want to miss out on. Enough about me. Let's get into it. I want to talk about a real product that I sell and that I've sold thousands and thousands of units of. And you can see I buy them right here for $1.85 each in bulk. And I sell them on Amazon individually for $34.99, which you can obviously see is a very healthy profit margin. And the cool thing is they sell thousands of units per month. While Kevin was hyping me up on all of his success, it gave me a a chance to analyze this image. Did anyone else notice that these are two different products? One is labeled natural edge stainless, the other is labeled large slate cheese. The pictures look nothing alike. Even worse, the line item he points to on the top of this image is for a product called the Juvale mini slate cheese, which does not match either of the products below. Kevin, if you're such an e-commerce expert, why do you resort to this fraudulent behavior? Man to man, let's have a little chat. This is deceptive advertising and you know it. If any of you watching this are lawyers, email me so we can stop this scumbag behavior. You can keep 100% of the damages awarded from the lawsuit as long as you let me film it and post it on YouTube. The next one is, do you need a ton of money to get started on Amazon? The answer is, yes, you do need some. You can't start with zero dollars in your bank, but you can get started with a lot less than you might think. In the Facebook ads, he promotes this opportunity as somewhere to invest $40,000. In my research, I found that you generally need five to $10,000 for inventory, and because of Amazon's payout structure, you may need more money to refill the inventory if your product begins selling. We need to ask Ariella Oorio how much a ton of money is because it's very subjective, but for most people watching these ads, 50K is a lot of money. All you do is you ship your product directly from your supplier to Amazon, which is what we teach our clients to do, and then you skip out on all of those expenses and all of that pain. Amazon handles the website, right? Amazon handles getting the customers. Amazon handles shipping and packaging and customer service and returns, and they literally do all of that for you. And the Amazon does it all for you. You don't even have to worry about all the traditional expenses of running a business. 
Hopefully by now the skeptical wiring in your brain is starting to line up. This magical business model is so easy. Therefore what we do is we offer to partner with people on their stores. They open up the store in their name, the money goes into their seller account, then gets transferred to their bank account, and their only responsibility is to pay us our percentage at the end of the month. Amazon is going to want a fee for basically doing all of the work for you, and the Amazon automation expert is going to need their cut too. Before we even dive into the numbers, somehow these gurus are going to find a product for you with enough margin to be able to pay Amazon their cut, pay the gurus their cut, handle shipping fees, and manage returns on a platform that is notorious for having super tight margins. You wanna know how Amazon is able to give you such amazing prices? Because they rely on you buying products in volume. Low margins, but high volume means a sustainable profit. If you're adding an additional fee to the already tight margins, how exactly do you plan on profiting? In the example at the start, I said that you made $12 because that's the margin, but Amazon are actually taking $9 of that. And you're left with $3.41 and a 5% profit margin. But that's not where it stops. It gets a lot worse than that. Decoded breaks down what someone can expect to experience when selling products on Amazon. He shows how someone can sell the audience on a product with a $12 profit per unit sold, but how it actually loses money when you account for the guru commission fee, the average return rate, and Amazon's cut. I'll let my friend Bo explain what typically is happening with these Amazon automation programs. So Amazon automation packages is a drop shipping business model where the person that you pay to get you an automated store, they drop ship. And they don't drop ship by doing the legit way. They typically drop ship on the way that's not even allowed in Amazon. So what they do is drop shipping, right? How people would do it is let's say this book is selling on Barnes and Noble for $20 and on Amazon, it's selling for 30. Someone will go list the product on Amazon and then they'll, when it sells, they will go buy it from Barnes and Noble and ship directly to the customer. The problem with that is it is 100%, 100% against Amazon's terms and service. Stephen Mayer of Valiant Consultants is someone that offers this service. Now guys, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not something that, um, you know, it's gonna happen overnight. It's not something um, that is 100% safe. And what I mean by that is the method that we are doing is 100% against terms of service. There are many ways that gurus can create Amazon automation stores so that they all aren't operating against Amazon's terms of service but those who drop ship using other retailers are going against the terms of service. These Amazon automation gurus claim that they offer this service because Amazon only allows you to have one store, which I've seen multiple people claim is false. Now Dylan, a lot of people ask us, why don't you guys just build more stores yourself? What's the answer to that? Well, Amazon only allows you to have one store under your name and under your personal information. There's a concept in economics called the rational choice theory. Here is Investopedia's definition of rational choice theory. Rational choice theory states that individuals use rational calculations to make rational choices and achieve outcomes that are aligned with their own personal objectives. These results are also associated with an individual's best self-interests. Using rational choice theory is expected to result in outcomes that provide people with the greatest benefit and satisfaction given the choices they have available. How do we apply this concept to these charitable gurus willing to do all of the work with creating a huge profitable Amazon store while only wanting a small profit split? Kevin does whatever it takes to make money. His past behavior and actions make it very clear that he cares about making money more than his reputation. If you see my episode of Authentic or Charlatan on him, I show you the 50 examples of him copying others' content in order to make profitable videos on YouTube. This is how he earned the nickname Copycat Kevin. He's also been caught with faking images of Amazon earnings to sell you courses. Maximizing personal income is most important. Any interest in helping others comes after the payment goes through. With this concept of Amazon automation, he essentially has three choices. Option A, he can sell his system for $40,000 up front and a percentage of the profit. Option B, he can tell you to open the store in your name bypassing the Amazon single store issue and take a majority profit split. Or option C, he doesn't share any of his secrets and makes profitable stores on his own. Given that we know Kevin cares most about making as much money as he can squeeze out of a marketplace, we know he is going to be acting as a rational actor making decisions in his best interest. Kevin knows which option gives him the most profit. It's option A, which is his Amazon automation system. Sure, there will be some clients who make a good amount of money, 
but most won't, which is why he and other Amazon automation gurus want the money up front. Really ask yourself, why in the world would these gurus be selling this secret system to everyone else? If these gurus really knew how to profit five or six figures a month, do you really think they would be giving away their system for a measly 40 grand and 30% profit split? Of course not, because they would be acting completely irrationally. They have all the money they need for more stores. If the problem really was Amazon's single store rule, then they just go to all their closest friends and have them sign up for stores. That's literally the easiest solution in the world. They could make so much money doing that that they could pay all their VAs to help them copy more YouTube videos. They have a lot of testimonials of clients making five figures a month in revenue. That's amazing. You wanna know why none of these testimonials contain the expenses? because their business model has super tight margins. And if you found out that these people were profiting $1,000 while selling $100,000 worth of product, the mystique would wear off. Keep that in mind. The reason why a lot of people don't ever tell their profits or show the profits behind them like I do is because they're just not making that much money. They're, they're really not making much of anything, okay? They're just trying to entice you. They're trying to get you hyped. I watched a lot of this guy Roughneck's e-com videos about Amazon automation for research in this video. He came across as a guy running Amazon automation that is actually legit, but I would definitely need more vetting to promote his stuff. His videos do serve as good information for the topic. Bo Crable is someone I've had on my channel before and think he's running an actual successful Amazon store. He's not a fan of Amazon automation, so consider checking out his videos on the topic as well. Through my eyes, I think you should always learn how to build a business or learn how to invest on your own before ever putting money into other people's hands, especially these gurus who promote the world to you. But Spencer, I don't see that many bad reviews online about these Amazon automation stores. Well, here's why. Is it true? Um, they have you sign NDAs. Yes, yes. So what's, why do they have people sign on disclosure agreements? Well, the, the thing is, the thing is they don't want you, uh, they don't want you going, saying anything to uh, discredit them. That's what it is. So they have you sign NDAs. You can't say anything um, bad about them. Same thing with the group. All the members in a group, they can't say anything. They can't say any truth about what's going on with their stores. Some of these gurus make you sign NDA so you can't speak negatively about their programs. This behavior is only elicited if you're running a scam. None of the testimonials for these gurus contain the real profit margins or how much the student invested. If we knew the real numbers on the student stores, the mirage would fly away and you'd see this opportunity for what it is, an automated system to separate you from your money. Thanks so much for watching.